While Russia is preparing an alternative series of domestic competitions, ISU is thinking about how to keep its Grand Prix series without our country. To the Russian stage that has fallen out, apparently, the Chinese one is being added, where they continue to worry about the coronavirus. It turns out that there are two stages out of six without hosts, but the rest are not so great. In Canada, there are still COVID restrictions, in America there are problems with financing, and the French offer to hold their stage in a small town that is smaller than the Russian Cizren. What will the union eventually come to and will it be possible to solve all the current difficulties? The calendar of international starts in figure skating for the next season is gradually starting to build up. The worst fears did not come true, the sport, though not without obvious difficulties, survived the pandemic and a global tragedy did not happen. But the normalization process was hindered by geopolitical processes. The suspension of Russians remains in force, as well as the ban on holding any competitions on the territory of our country under the auspices of the ISU. And this means that the International Skating Union is losing one of its most successful stages, which it was sure of under any previous circumstances. The Russian Grand Prix had its own difficulties, but in general, the starts in Moscow, Sochi and St. Petersburg, and the tournament was not held outside these three cities, were distinguished by increased public interest and success on television. Especially in recent years, when there is a peak in the popularity of figure skating in Russia. With the highest probability, the Russian stage will be transferred to Finland. The Finns do not have their own stage of the Grand Prix, but periodically they replace someone from the usual six host countries. And now our northern neighbors are ready to intercept the cancelled Russian stage, as the well-known American journalist Philip Hirsch writes. The Finnish side has already responded to his insider and officially declared its readiness to act as the organizer of the stage, but only if the ISU agrees. The union prefers to remain silent for now. At the same time, we must remember that Finland has its own sanctions problem. There is a ban on the use of the country's largest Hartville arena which is partially owned by the Russian oligarchs Rotenberg. The Hockey World Cup had to be held in the old Helsinki Ice Palace, and as an alternative, the Finns can only offer their province. For example, Ispu, where the Finlandia Trophy Challenger takes place. In addition to the Russian one, the Chinese stage of the Grand Prix remains in limbo. The Chinese have not hosted international launches since 2019. A short respite, with the strictest regulations, for the Olympics turned into new quarantines, which literally drove many residents of Chinese megacities crazy. There is no question of any international figure skating start in such realities. So far, the ISU continues to hope for China and believes that the Celestial Empire will find a province not affected by the infection in the third year of the pandemic. But the reality screams that the Chinese need to look for an alternative. But who can lend a shoulder? Last year, the Italians became the lifesaver, but this year Turin will have the series finale anyway. They will certainly consider Tallinn, where there was a good half of the starts last year, and Hungary. Not everything is great with those stages that are not going to be cancelled. But not everyone will be able to get to them. Canada is one of the last countries that does not fully open its borders. To date, they only allow foreigners vaccinated with who recognized vaccinations. Not all countries have access to them, plus, while there is no age limit, it is unclear what to do with minors. ISU will have to negotiate with the Ministry of Health of Canada for relief. However, previous experience shows that negotiations will obviously not be simple. The American stage of the Grand Prix, as the local press writes, has problems with financing. Skate America barely coped with the consequences of the pandemic, and the only arena available to them was an ice rink in Norwood, Massachusetts. For understanding, according to the last census, about 30,000 people live there. The French are sending their stage this time to Angers, where there are a little more than 100. Maybe we were surprised in vain by the Cup of Russia in Cizren, where 177,000 inhabitants.